Hi, my name is Allison, and this is my meditation teacher, John Records, who has profoundly changed my life for the better. I'm pleased to meet you. I was very resistant to meditation in the beginning, as you know, and I had seen it in my labs that my cortisol was very high, which was creating high blood sugar. And darn it, I needed to go to meditation. And, you know, Dr. Nasha Winters kept saying, you know, this is the missing piece of your puzzle. I remember when you were in there for the first time. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. And it was phenomenal for me because I didn't think it was possible to do nothing or quiet my mind. Hmm. I... The only time I had ever experienced that was maybe on a long run or a bike ride, right. you know, out of pure exhaustion, yeah. but not a choice to quiet my mind. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. when you taught me those techniques to make that happen, it was incredible. My labs changed and my life changed. That's great. It's been very fulfilling to work with you. When Allison talks about quieting her mind, um, that moves me to speak a little differently about that because I've uh, worked with so many people who feel they can't meditate because they can't quiet their mind. You know, your mind keeps chattering away. Part of what we're offering here is an approach to calmness. So let me back away from the M word for meditation and from the Q word, quieting. So a way to feel a little more calm, less anxiety, uh, the capacity to recognize if there's fear or something else that is causing us to be uncomfortable, and not to push it away and to stuff it down, but more to metabolize it, mm. to acknowledge it, it does have a purpose, and to not be trapped in it. So these approaches use the body as a way to work with the mind. So just as an example, and we'll be giving you some uh, MP3 recordings that you can play over and over if you want. Simple gestures like opening your hand can just provide an immediate shift of consciousness. Are you noticing that? As yes. That? I mean, I could go like this right. and be all... Right. Or... Yeah, you could be kind of clenched. Yeah. That's how I used to sleep. Yeah, yeah. Right. you mentioned that. Yes, yeah, sleep clenched. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of tiring to do that. It right? is. So when we learn to open up to life, whatever it is, it can be easier for us. There's a person I work with who says that the only thing that lets her turn her brain off is this simple gesture, kind of the infinity sign. Mm -hmm. And when she makes that with her hand, it just takes her into a flow state, and she can play with the speed of it, the size of it. You know, it could be big or small. You can have either hand. So those are the kinds of things that we work with to enable you to find more calm and getting less stuck in different uh, emotions. So this is our introduction to that path. It's been very helpful to you and to a lot of other people. And I'm so honored and happy to be able to share this with you so that you can have a sense of support and connection at a very difficult time in your life. I started teaching meditation way back when the AIDS epidemic had just started. And my own teacher at the time asked me to do this at Oregon Health Sciences University School of Nursing. This was back before there were any kind of drugs to help people with HIV and AIDS. And people would wake up in the night with just horrible night sweats and fear. And some of the kind of practices that we'll be sharing with you were able to help those folks then. So during the decade since then, I've continued to teach and kind of refine the practices. And now uh, you'll be getting what Allison and I find works really, really well. You know, so many people say, you know, live in the moment. Yeah. And that just sounds so easy, but it finding peace in that present moment yes. is a learned skill. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. Our planet 
rewards us for multitasking and mm-hmm. being busy. Yes. And I feel like I'm just trying to unwind all that stuff and, and just be more present and peaceful. Yes. And you're right. You don't have to use the M word, the meditation word. Right. And, uh, you don't have to take all the baggage that comes with the, right. that. Yes. I've really, I've seen you both discover yourself and create yourself on your cancer path. And this uh, approach of knowing yourself more deeply and finding the peace and calmness that is already there, that is always there, that can be accessed with some simple techniques. It's just been a joy to behold. So Mm -hmm. thank you for bringing me into your journey. And thank you for sharing this with us. Uh, We'll be happy to receive any feedback you might have. We're open to uh, creating new offerings that might support you even better than what we're offering initially. Awesome. Thank you, John. Welcome to the journey of meditation, inner peace, calmness, whatever you want to call it. Yes, as long as it works. Exactly. Bye-bye for now.